Yeah, I think so. All right, so today we were wanting to talk to you guys about uh, helping you decide if you really need an app. So you're looking for your company's next big thing, but that doesn't necessarily need to be an app. Um, and for today's purposes, we'll define what app means, and that means for uh, a, a, an application installed on your phone, on your device. So before we dive into things, I want to introduce ourselves. This is Steve. Hi. I'm the sales director here at Gaslight. Um, I've been here um, a little over a year now, probably about 15 months now. Um, it's been a big transition into the custom software space from the um, off-the-shelf SaaS-based software um, field. So it's been really interesting. I've learned a lot of cool things, especially around building apps, which is what we're going to talk about today. And my name is Katie Pullman. I'm a UX designer here at Gaslight. Uh, I've been here for, oh gosh, what is it now, three years? Um, and I work on the UX of applications here that we build and also building out the front end and designing the UI. Um, so really kind of run the full gamut of design uh, in our products. So um, that is us. But we kind of want to talk to you guys and kind of explain who we're talking to here. So. I think for the most part, I, I hear a lot of organizations that really fall into a similar um, persona. Um, and a lot of it is medium-sized organizations um, that really have non-technical markets. So maybe they don't have real, really a CTO or technical leadership at the organization, kind of driving innovation or thought leadership for the technology side. Um, we also see a lot of people that are looking for better ways to engage their customers. Um, and I think those kind of all correlate together. Maybe it's the construction industry or it's the manufacturing industry and they're looking for new innovative ways to bring in new customers or reach that new market um, that's kind of coming available that's more tech savvy. And I think a lot of competitive pressure drives a lot of people. So if a competitor comes out and builds their own app, all of a sudden that competition feels, hey, we need one too, without really understanding the problems they're trying to solve. So most of the time, our companies are fitting into this category. All right, so now you know who we are and we all kind of know who you are um, and you want to build an app. So does everyone. Um, everyone thinks these days that in order to be relevant in the market that they need an app and it's kind of mistaken for table stakes and it's just really not the case. Um, because everybody is assuming that we've kind of overwhelmed our users um, and asking them to download an app for every little thing that we want them to do. Um, it's kind of like QR codes, if I'm sure everybody is well, very familiar with that. Um, there was this cool new technology that came out. Everybody was like, oh, QR codes, let's do it. But nobody really did it right. And so everyone just kind of got sick of it. All, every time you see a QR code, you kind of like laugh or scoff at it because everybody tried to use it and nobody really saw the value in it because nobody used it to its fullest potential. Um, and that's kind of the same thing we're starting to see with apps is that everybody is asking their users to download an app and it's created this fatigue in the marketplace because their users aren't really seeing the value out of that download. Um, and don't trust us on that. Yeah. We've got some numbers. Put a little numbers behind you know, our, our beliefs here or our assumptions. Um, right now there are roughly 2 million apps available in the Apple and App Store for Android and there are 40 apps used per month of the 80 that are downloaded. So there's a lot of apps that are taking up space and are on people's phones that they download and maybe use once or twice, but really never use again. So they're always left in that dilemma um, of, hey, if I need to download a new app for something, I have to find something I don't really use and delete. Um, and also, you know, the average amount a company will typically spend on building a custom app is a million dollars. So for this to be something that people are just jumping into and not really thinking about the true reason behind, you take some of those medium-sized companies that are investing money like this, not really knowing why they're doing it or doing it for the wrong reasons, those are some of the things that we want to try and help with. Yeah, and with those odds, I mean, out of 2 million apps that are available out there, only 40 get used on a regular basis. You want to make sure that spending that kind of money is worth it with those odds, because your odds are not great that you're going to end up on your users' phones. Um, so, but if those numbers didn't scare you away, um, Let's do a little bit of a gut check if you're still thinking you want to build an app. Why do you want to build an app? Um, do you think that you want an app just because it's cool? You think that, well, my competitor has an app, so I guess I should have an app. Um, or do you think that it's something that's really going to help your users? Uh, and that's really what we want to drive home. 
The only reason that an app sticks or that it stays on your, the user's phone is if it's providing that continuous value to them. So if you're asking them to download it, to do some mundane task that they're only gonna do once, and th they're gonna end up deleting it as soon as they're finished with that task. And you're gonna lose out on that potential to like continuously um, connect with them. So what you really wanna do is make sure that you're providing that continuous value to them. And if you're not, then maybe an app isn't your answer. Um, yeah, and a lot of times at, at Gaslight, we take a very consultative approach at the beginning of the process. When a company comes to us, a lot of times they already have an idea of, hey, I want to build an app and it's going to solve this problem for us. Um, well, once we dive into the business and dive into the actual challenges they're having or the customer engagement problems that they're struggling with, we a lot of times leave that customer thinking more in depth about the actual problem they're trying to solve and actually how can they solve that customer experience problem instead of just providing an app, which almost feels like you're trying to put a Band-Aid over it or put a quick fix over it. We really want to understand the business and understand what they're trying to accomplish with that app. And a lot of times it does give them a perspective of maybe it's internal process. Maybe it's something we can fix internally with our organization. Maybe it's the structure. Maybe we can add an employee or two that can really bridge the gap between our customers and the business. So when does an app make sense? We'll kind of lightly touch on like when this tech technically would make sense. Um, you, if you're wanting to use technology that's only available on the device, such as the uh, accelerometer or your camera, obviously it's helpful to have something that's installed on that device. Um, or if you're doing continuous use of location services, so something like a running app or uh, Uber or Lyft, some, some sort of solution where you're tracking the user's device. Um, Another example would be augmented reality or 3D games. Um, that those types of things you require, or I shouldn't say require, it's easier if you have that low level access to things on the device. Um, and also if you're pro providing some sort of system service like a password management on the device, it's uh, nice to have that low level access as well. Um, but we'll kind of get out of the weeds um, and jump back up. So maybe an app is your answer, or maybe it's not. Uh, we really just want to, emphasize that we want people to stop reaching for the easy solution. Uh, just because something's trendy doesn't mean that it's right. We really want to focus on our users and what is their problem that we're trying to solve and what is that solution um, to solve that problem. So maybe it's, uh, it's imp just improving the UX of your current system. Maybe you don't need to build a new thing. Or maybe you just need to expand upon your new current system. Maybe you do need to completely re rewrite your current system so that it's up to date in a new technology. But that doesn't necessarily need to be an app on the, your device. Uh, or maybe it's overhauling your business model. Maybe it's even like out of the technical space and it's up a level and kind of in that strategy of things. Um, or maybe it is an app and maybe then that's okay. Um, apps aren't bad. We're definitely not saying that. We just want to make sure that we're building them to solve the user's problem and not building them for the sake of having them. And I would definitely say before you jump to that conclusion of, hey, we need an app, it's, it's so worth your time to go find a consultant like Gaslight, or there are tons of others out there that really want to take the time to understand your business and see how we can bridge the gap between technology and you helping you achieve your business goals. So if an app helps you achieve your business goals, absolutely, let's do it and let's build the best app possible. But if not, we want to challenge your assumptions. We want to make sure that you're understanding the, the pros and the cons to it so it gives, allows you to be a more educated buyer. So really just to kind of drive this home, you, we want you to find the solution that fits your user's problem and not try to make your problem fit the preferred solution. So again, putting your users first and not this uh, cool new trendy technology that you want to implement just because you think that it's a nifty thing that you should have. Um, but really putting our users first and ma making that uh, the driving factor in making your decisions. Um, but. That's all we have today. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Uh, we'd be happy to answer them. Thank you.